Hey everyone, welcome back to 7 Star Off Topic. My name is Jay, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different today when we're filming this. We're going to try doing some multi-window perspectives and see how that turns out. It may not, you may not see this in the video, but hopefully it will. So without further ado, today we are building set 75280, the 501st Legion Clone Troopers pack. Let's get to it. So that is bag one, and that's the uh, 501st little speeder guy here. And uh, we got the two clone troopers. Those are pretty cool looking. Focus on the clone trooper. And we got a couple of battle droids. Cannon fodder. I do think uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, stud shooters don't look too bad as weapons on the front of this. I do think this needs a couple of um, of the clear half circles, little mounds that go on the bottom to make it look like it's actually hovering and not just sitting on the ground. I'm gonna see if I can find some extra clear Legos I can put on there. But it's pretty cool. On to bag two.
you can see we've completed the little walker. He's got his little clone thing. This thing is pretty cool looking. For There's only 285 parts in this set, but they put them to good use. I mean, this walker has is, is got some nice detail on it, and it's a pretty cool set. So you've got these little pieces here. And then it, it makes these look like ball joints, even though they're they're not. But you've got some posability in the legs. So you can kind of stand this up straighter. And they're pretty cool. So that's it. So uh, now we're going to mod this because this stupid little stud shooter looks terrible on the front of this. So we're going to put some pieces on there and make it look more like a cannon. Alright, because I think that little stud shooter looks terrible hooked down to the front of this as a cannon. Where we took that off. So what we came up with was this, looking at pictures of how this actually looks in Star Wars. Let's see if we can focus here. It's got one semi-longer cannon coming off the bottom. It doesn't have a little stubby thing and it doesn't have a super long thing like the old set for the ATRT. So uh, what I did was just take a four-way lamp post and then the one-way lamp post with the hole in the back. And these are just connected together and set on top of the, the swivel piece that came with the set. Just put this little piece on here for greebling. Same with this. This is just a, a pole with a cone attached at the end. And then this sticks oops <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not getting that back out oh goodness so this is just stuck into this all right so let's do is just stick these two together and then that just goes through them And then this is just here for decorative purposes. And so now we're going to take our walker and the ball joint coming out of the bottom. Just snap that back on. There we go, just turn it upside down. There you go. Now we have a cannon that's not quite as ridiculously long as the last set, but it's also not just a stubby, stupid little stud shooter on there. It's not perfect, but it's better. There we go. Modded that just a little bit. Make it look just a little less goofy. And this guy, I'm probably going to put some of these under this speeder just so that it looks a little more like it's hovering and not just sitting. Or I'll try and find some clear pieces to set it on. But that's it. Got all our little 501st guys. This guy's weapon is pretty cool. It actually has a stock on it. Yeah, can't stand up. It's too heavy. My weapon's too heavy. I gotta use it as a crutch. This guy's cool because he's got the little backpack on him there. And then we got two guys to pilot the vehicles and a couple of stupid droids to run over. That's it, man. It's at 75280. Definitely look into doing something with the cannon if you're going to get it. Unless you really, really like the stud shooters. Like I said, they, they look kind of okay on the front of a speeder like this. They look really stupid coming out of the front of the ATRT.